were we abandoned when we decided this grand experiment that we wanted to experience separation from oneness, right? When we decided to come here, were we abandoned? Were we just left on our own with these devices? So many people say, you know, Jason, their evil exists, but it doesn't. It's all in your mind, right? So the two things that we need to discuss today that I want all in one video, first, our divine sexual energy, our sex, you know? And then second, our, what we call guidance system. Just like you have in your phone, a GPS, we have a GPS. Both of those were given to us by our Father, by God, by the divine, by oneness. So no, ladies and gentlemen, we were never abandoned, ever. And those were given to us as a way to find our way home here in this low vibrational materialistic realm. All right, so let's talk about one that everybody talks about for forever and ever, our sexual energy. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it was given to us by God. It's divine, it's oneness. It is a way to connect with God, with home, all right? Every single one of you that follow me, that love me, and thank you again for your support, you all are either in a, a relationship, hopefully a healthy one, or if you're single like me, then you have yourself as a relationship and making love to yourself is just as divine as anything, all right? Now let's talk about energy quick. As you all know, if you went to school or are educated, that energy cannot be destroyed, right? You can just transfer it from one form to another. Energy cannot be destroyed. So our sexual energy, our divinity cannot be destroyed. Hence, that's why all of you, including me, reach some days where you're just horny, right? You are in need of that divine sexual energy to be taken care of. And thus is why we seek a partner in this crazy world that we, that we created, right? So your sexual energy is pure love, divine, compassion, loving, empathetic, all connecting to home, all of, you know, what you would call virtuous, right? But they're just divine, which then puts you in to the second key that I talked about, right? You're in alignment with your guidance system, which is pure love. So when you are with your partner and you love your partner, right? You are in alignment with your higher self. You are in alignment with home. And then you are in alignment with love. What is our sexual energy? It is love. You want to wrap yourself up in your partner. You want to share bodily fluids. You want to sweat with them. You want them. You want to share your bodies, which is beautiful. It's what it was intended for. It was the church knowing about Jesus's teachings. And if you all see this video, you need to go back and watch uh, my video on homosexuality because I didn't cover this in depth. But, and then you also have to talk about the greatest lie ever told. The church knows who Jesus was and what his teachings were about. He was not a celibate man. He loved his wife. He had children. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Yeshua Bar Yosef woke up every morning with a heart on, just like all of us that are driving a male vehicle. He was an expert in the tantric arts. All right, he did not preach celibacy. That's the church. So your divine sexual energy is that of Father. He gave it to you. It is of love and it is meant to be a love. Now, if you wanna dabble in pornography, you know, which is condemned, and I told you why in, in that video, um, because it is a dark energy. It's the ego, right? It is a dark energy. So, and that's why it is condemned. Because with your divine sexual energy, right? When you are wrapped up in your partner's arms and you're kissing, you're making out, right? You are sharing bodily fluids orally, right? 
the whole thing, which is beautiful. Yes, the non-physical is watching and enjoying and saying, yay, you know, um, they're loving it because that is what we were created to do. But my point is, is with our sexual energy, when you are in tune with that, you are in tune with love and your higher self. And thus, if any of you female vehicles out there have experienced this, which I'm sure some of you have with that beautiful relationship that you're in, is that you are able, the male vehicles, to give your partner a full body orgasm, not just a genital orgasm, but a full bodied orgasm. Have you ever seen her just shudder and grunt, you know, and close, her eyes roll back into the back of her head, right? And she lets out this guttural grunt and then she just rolls over sobbing, right? And she's reaching for you because she wants skin on skin contact and she's crying, right? Well, you just took her to a place that she can't understand, which was home, all right? And she just wants you to hold her. She wants your body warmth. She wants your nakedness on her, and it is beautiful. It is beautiful. And that means whether you are married or not. And I told you in one of these last videos, God doesn't give a flying fuck about your piece of paper that um, says there's some law holding you for eternity to. No, it doesn't matter. And it's the same thing with same sex. Doesn't matter. It's love. And love is everything, right? So... And it's people that bitch about it, whine about it, complain about it. They're just scared. They don't understand it because they don't even understand themselves, let alone love themselves. So all they can do then is let the ego loose, right? And judge, attack, and condemn. Fear. So that is also with same sex. But for right now, for the most part, I'm talking about heterosexual sex. Um, and by no means am I discounting homosexuality or same sex. It is just as beautiful and loved by father and the non-physical as heterosexual sex. And I need you to all understand that, all right? It is divine. So let's talk about this a little further. Let's take it into something you guys don't want to really talk about. So when couples are engaged in an argument, Say one person has, you know, kind of cut off being intimate with their partner. It could be for numer, it could be a, for a health reason. It could be they're working so many hours to take care of their family. They're just tired, right? And we'll just use that. So you're not having sex with your female, right? And she's after you and she's after you. She wants intimacy, right? The kids are asleep. They want, and you're not, I'm tired, you know. Then what happens? You all know where I'm going with this, right? Boom, the explosion happens, right? There's the fight just like that. The fight's on. Who are you fucking? Hmm? Why won't you touch me? Why won't you have sex with me? Am I bad? Did I do something wrong? You know, and you're, hey, hey, you know. No, no, no. What man doesn't want sex? Huh? What's going on? Who are you after? Who are you fucking? Right? Sexual energy. Energy cannot be destroyed. It's going to come out one way or another, ladies and gentlemen. And this is what you would call a dark side of sexual energy, right? It cannot be destroyed. It cannot. It, it just simply cannot. So it's going to come out in a fight. You're going to argue, right? Someone is scared. Someone is fearful, right? Someone's feeling a lack of love, which is what all you... Bible thumping Christians think sin is. Sin is nothing more than a lack of love, all right? And it's fear-based, right? When we got that fear from stepping away from oneness, the, the idea of separation, male and female, away from oneness, which is impossible. Again, it's just fear. So you fall into fear, thus you start to fight, And there is your sexual energy on the opposite side of wrapping each other up in love and embracing one another and sharing bodily fluids and being intimate. And no part of your intimacy, no matter what you do, is bad, period. Do not be shameful of it. Do not be disgusted by it. There is nothing between the two of you that you want to do that is disgusting or unloving or anything. Okay, 
period. I, I need you guys to understand that. So many of you are worried about, well, I wanna try this, I wanna try. Try it, do it, have fun. It is yours to have fun with. It is a way to connect to home. So the second part of that is our guidance system, right? Which I just mentioned earlier, coincides with your sexual energy. I call them the two keys. They are our ways home in this physical realm, realm to connect to home. I connect all the time through meditation, right? I am not with anybody. I'm single, right? So self-love, is that bad? Masturbation? Nope. Just don't watch pornography. It's dark. It's evil. It's not evil because evil does not exist. Excuse me. That was absolutely wrong. It's dark energy, all right? And that is controlled by the ego. And you don't want that. It's short-term. It's short-lived. And then you feel kind of, right, that was... Uh, not what you wanted to do, right. But the ego took over in that case. So our guidance system was based on when we decided to take this journey by ourselves to be separate from our creator, from God, right? To experience free will, right? When we wanted to make the choice of, I want to step away. Basically, we decided to become lost, like hide and seek in the dark, right? But instead of seeking another individual, what are we trying to seek? Ourselves, right? We're trying to find ourselves in the darkness, which we call this physical realm, this earth that we're in. But it was a key that was given to us, and it was our guidance system. It always points home. It always points to love, empathy, right? And when you're laughing, when you're having fun and you're kissing and you're hugging and you're goofing around and you're having fun, your guidance system is pointing straight home, right? You're feeling good. You're feeling wonderful, right? Yes, that is your guidance system saying you are right where you need to be, okay? And when you're out of alignment with that, what's going on, right? You're pissed off, you're angry, you're mad, you're upset, which means you've steered off to the right or to the left, right? You're now not in alignment with your higher self, with home. And now you're feeling that. Your higher self is talking to you by saying, excuse me, I'm sorry, by saying, hey, you're on a whack right? Well, how are you out of whack? You're not listening to your emotions. That's God talking to you, your father, your higher self. They're talking to you, right? We learn to dismiss those feelings, right? As, eh, whatever. No, no, we cannot do that. No, that is your father talking to you. That's God talking to you. That's your higher self talking to you saying, hey, we need to get back on track. Why? Where does your guidance system point? To love, right? So we were never abandoned. We, as the species of humans, learned to shut that down, to not listen to our feelings, to not listen to our emotions, to not be vulnerable with one another. Why? You know, when someone says, I don't love you anymore, it hurts. You feel it inside, don't you? It makes you sick. You know, what did I do? You know, you, you get emotional, you start to cry. You're in alignment with love. But we've learned to turn that off and shut it down. We stopped talking to God. We stopped talking to our higher selves. We don't wanna be hurt, so we build up walls, right? We keep ourselves, like me, like I did my whole life, being that little empath in my video when I let everything out, guys, right? I built those walls up real high. I shut myself down. I shut myself off from God. I didn't listen to my feelings or emotions, right? Because me being the empath, I really hurt, you know? And so I learned to shut up and shut down. Well, that was the worst thing I could have ever done, right? It led to a life of utter poverty and non-abundance. So, those are your two keys, ladies and gentlemen. We were never abandoned, right? We came here 
to get lost. We came here to feel separate from oneness, even though we're not. That's the whole illusion of this world. We're not separate from God, from oneness, from home. It's all an illusion. And your guidance system and your sexual energy are there to bring you back home. They're beautiful, they're pure. So start listening to your emotions. Guys, to the, to the male vehicles, I'm speaking to you out there, to your relationships with your, if you're married or with your girlfriend, and this doesn't matter whether you're a teenager or whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60 years old, it doesn't matter. Take time with the female vehicle, all right? She needs time to warm up. Us, all, all, all they need to warm us up with is show up. Show up. Hey, I want a piece of ass, right? And just like that, we're up and that's all we need. Well, guys, the female vehicles need to be warmed up. So how do we do that? Lots of touching and stay away from the kill zones. All right, what's the kill zones? Her boobs, her crotch, her butt, right? Hug her, make out with her, run your hands through her hair and pull her hair a little bit, right? Walk up to her when she's doing the dishes and wrap your arms around her and give her a kiss on the ear and a little nibble on the neck and say, hey, I'm gonna get you later, right? Warm her up because her mind is now gonna start churning, right? You're getting the blood flowing to her, right? So yes, lay there next to her, kiss her, make out with her, touch her. Run, rub your hands down her back, her armpits, the side of her chest, her thighs, her feet. Touch her. But what you're really doing is you're making love to her with your hands, right? She'll let you know when she's ready for you, right? She always does. But take time, take 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes is even better before you move to the kill zones, right? Warm her up, let her have a full body orgasm. Something that she'll be sitting there three weeks still having an orgasm, okay? This is the sexual energy that I'm talking about. This is the energy that Father wants to see, that Jesus wants to see, true intimacy. Now, I know a lot of times that, you know, a lot of us have kids, younger ones, and I don't care. You make that time. It is special, it's yours, it was given to you by God to come home to him and she will, she'll, you'll know when she does. She will let out a guttural grunt and her eyes will roll back in her head, arch her back, and she will let loose, right? And she will become very emotional. She will cry. She will want to cuddle, right? Her legs will be just trembling out of control, right? Still having an orgasm. She may not open up to you about it because it may terrify her, all right? Because it's something that was probably even unknown. And I'm sure it was because the church has hidden that from you. That's why the church outlawed and condemned sex. They know damn well Jesus's teachings and what it does and where it takes you. Now guys, it can happen to you. She can give you a horrifically good, you know, beautiful orgasm where you do the same thing, where you're shaking and you're out of control. It happens and that's what our divine sexual energy is for. They roll together, your two keys. They are your way home in this physical realm. Now you can get there through meditation. You can get there through a spiritually transformative disease. In my case, a near-death experience, right? But these are some of the things that you know, we're given and come to me, all right? I, like I said, I don't wanna make this too long. I think this is a, a beautiful way to end it right here. But those are your two keys. Listen for your, your sexual energy, I just talked to you about, but your guidance system. Listen to your emotions, ladies and gentlemen. 
to your feelings. Do not shut them down. That is God talking to you. That is your higher self talking to you. Listen to your emotions. If you're unhappy at work, quit. Walk right out the fucking door. If you're unhappy in your relationship and you've talked, whether you're married or not, God does not recognize your marriage. I need you to understand that now, okay? He does not hold you to that worthless piece of shit paper. If you are unhappy, leave. Remember, if you have children, they're not yours. They are also God's. They came here understanding everything that was going to take place. They too have forgotten who they are. And it's their job, their job only, to find themselves. So if you're unhappy in your marriage, in your relationship, leave. That's your higher self saying, if you've worn out your welcome, it's time to move on. Go find love somewhere else. Be love, all right? If you're unhappy where you're living, pack your shit up and move. Because you're feeling out of alignment with your guidance. Your guidance system is telling you you're out of whack. You need to go, all right? So go. It's the church and society that has victimized you and indoctrinated you into this worthless system that has shut your emotions and feelings down. And you feel stuck. Well, God's not holding you to any of these rules and bullshit that we've created, this oppressive system here in the West that we have created, this slave-induced system, all right? Listen to your feelings. Listen to your emotions. Follow your guidance system. It is in alignment with home, with God, oneness, Father. All right? Beautiful. That's all I wanted to say on those. Those are your two keys. We were never abandoned, ever. All right? So your sexual energy is divine. It's pure. It was given to you by God, by oneness. It cannot be destroyed. It is divine in nature. It is beautiful. Love yourself. Make love to yourself. Make love to your partner. Not, don't use drugs. You will, that's again, the ego and dark energy. Don't use alcohol. You will never receive a full-bodied orgasm through either one of those routes. And those are also condemned because it's the ego. Pure and simple. All right? Just like I said in describing what I was talking about with your sexual energy. And if you deny that sexual energy, you deny your partner that sexual energy, in my mind, it's cruel. Oh, I got a headache. No, I'm not doing nah, it. Nah. It's cruel. Your partner needs you in that way. And to deny them that, their sexual divine energy is cruel. Period. Guys, if you're doing it to your partner or your girlfriend, that is also cruel. They need you that way, all right? And they're asking it of you. Nobody else on this planet, they need you that way. Stop what you're doing. Stop the fucking football game. Stop gaming, doing whatever you're doing, and go make love to your partner. It's beautiful. There's nothing greater because there's going to be come a point in your time when you become enlightened and you will never again enter a physical realm a body. You will never kiss again. You will never hug. You will never go on a water skiing trip or a camping in the mountains. You will never experience this again. It is the greatest gift we have been ever given by God is to live a physical existence. Do not squander it. Make love to your partner, same sex or not. Do not deny him that if they are in that mood and you're not, because trust me, when, when, I, when I'm back together with my twin flame, I will never deny her again, ever. I don't care what mood I'm in. I don't care if I was just shot. I will do whatever it takes because there's gonna come a point in time when that ceases to exist and you will never experience it again. Listen to your feelings and emotions, your guidance system and your sexual energy are pure and beautiful. They're the way home. No more, you were never abandoned, all right? And on that note, I love all of you. Um, I thank you for your love and support. For all of those that have subscribed to my channel, as you know, I never ask you to subscribe. I never ask you to comment or anything. I leave that completely and totally up to you guys. For all of you that have 
you know, support of the channel financially, I am beyond grateful for your love. I am beyond grateful for that. Please don't think that that does not, you know, affect me. It does. I am deeply honored and beyond grateful for your love and support. Again, I do this because I love all of you so very much. I know the truth. I don't have to do any of this. All right? It's because I love all of you. I want you to wake up. I want you to understand who you are, how powerful you are, that you've never been abandoned, that you are being loved and you are never in any danger here in any way, shape or form. But I want all of you guys to wake up to the fact of who you are, all right? Religion has oppressed you for millennia. The lies and mistruths the, and the indoctrination and the victimization that it has put all of you through. I'm going to crush it. All right. And that's why I'm here. I want you to wake up and realize your divinity, who you are. Right. All right. You guys have topics that you want me to discuss. Put those down in the comments. I haven't and uh, read them in a couple of days. I've been very tired. Just haven't sleeping well. Um, which happens with them. They wake me up, but over this weekend, I really didn't get any sleep, maybe four hours of sleep, you know, Friday night, Saturday night. I'm just beat. So if you want uh, me to talk about something, put it down there. I will talk about it. Until then, I love all of you. Have a blessed rest of your weekend. And I will probably go live um, Friday night. I'd like to get li I'll go live at least um, twice a month for you guys. Um, that way you can interact with me, you know, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. It just makes you feel part of, you know, the community that, you know, and I just think that's important to me. So I love all of you. Have a blessed weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.